I am Susan Maines. I am the commissioner of the Grenada Pavilion and also one of the artists from the Cypher Art Collective. My work in particular is about the Shakespeare Mass of Karakou. And in front of us, we have the Shakespeare Mass players. They recite Shakespeare. And if somebody makes a mistake, they can take the bullwhip and give the other a lash to give them a punishment. The mirrors you see here suspended in front of the painting are a reflection of these mirrors here on the costume of the Shakespeare Mass. The idea was to use the Shakespeare Mass from Karakou to explore all of these different avenues we can with art. So we wanted to take that and look at it on, as an inspiration for how we talk about Grenada in general and how we represent Grenada and how different people can actually look at the same thing but come up with different ways of, of realizing their own culture and, and interacting with that. My name is Billy Jared Frank. I am a multidisciplinary artist and filmmaker. My work is called Palimpsest, Tales Spawn from Sea and Memories. And it's based on the life of Kugwana, who is a major abolitionist. His full name is Otoba Kugwana. He was kidnapped in Ghana at the age of 13, brought to Grenada as a slave. He wrote a book called Thoughts and Sentiments on the Evils of Slavery, which played a prominent role, major role in the abolitionist movement. They told me that he was um, a slave and that he was a very important figure in slavery relating to the Caribbean. I, they said I would fit the role of Sugano. I was short, I had the um, persona, I had the energy to play him, and I really appreciate them believing in me. This series of paintings is about Shakespeare Mass, as you know. The title of these paintings are called Whipping the Mind. Looking at the whip in a much different way, looking at the importance of the whip in shaping the minds of people. And that in itself is not just in the mass, but we see this throughout Grenada society. Beautify the whip when it is actually used as a means of control. Myself and Ian Friday collaborated to produce this lovely piece of work here called A Syncretism in Karakou. So my piece dealt with navigating the current scape as a Grenadian, as a Grenadian native, in having to compete with the global space that currently existed. I tried to write as if how Shakespeare would have written back in the time. Damn, if I can just keep to my little corner, my little piece. Peace. A grenade. Character. Tranquil scene. Shakespeare Mass, I say, is a spiritual practice. I say it's been sort of a survival mechanism. And in this time of the pandemic, we needed to sort of use both of those elements to make it through the pandemic. So we creatively were inspired by this pandemic, the limitations of the pandemic to create a video that uses the spirit of Shakespeare Mass to delve into cultural uh, concerns that we've had to face as Grenadians, historically and in the present. One of the themes that we're working with, aside from Shakespeare Mass itself, is this kind of poetic approach to understanding the interactions or relations between people and cultures. I am thinking about materiality. Um, I'm thinking about the fact that the objects in Karakou and Grenada um, contribute to the identity of people in the space. So these objects that I've included in my installation, they would take up space in terms of memory without necessarily directly, literally explaining what Shakespeare Mass is. And so it's, a, it's an impression. It's um, trying to show the nature of how we construct meaning through the objects and environment, but also how we remember an event like this. 